Hello, I'm Michael Kirichenko. You're watching Skyway News, where we report on the developments and implementation of breakthrough transport technologies. From today's issue, you will get to know about the progress of work at Skyway Innovation Center in Sharjah, construction of facilities for Skyway Technologies Company in Belarus, creation of rolling stock and, of course, we will also recall the main event of the summer, EcoFest 2019. And now about all this in more detail. As regards Skyway Innovation Center in Sharjah, dismantling of the formwork of roof slabs on both anchor supports of the first line as well as the scaffolding was completely finished, so that the builders could begin the most important part of the work – installation of a pre-stressed flexible string rail track structure of second type. After that, installation of anchor units that are designed for a horizontal load of 250 tons. From pretensioning of strings, temperature and wind impact will begin. Preparatory work for unwinding of high-strength ropes to perform the role of strings has also started. The guest house is undergoing roofing works and installation of windows and doors. The operational documentation for the first test section of the flexible track structure has been worked out and installation procedure for the second and third test sections, double and monorail track structure respectively, is already in the process of preliminary development. Nevertheless, the most important events of the last week took place in Belarus, and now we will dwell on them. Construction of the new production complex in Silitsky Street is completed. And, at the moment, the Acceptance Commission is working at the facility. This complex will allow adapt and rapidly production processes to the current needs of the engineering company developer of Unitsky Skyway Transport. A roof slab of the first anchor support at the second truss structure was concreted in Eco Techno Park, so in a few days, when the formwork is removed, the builders will begin the most important part of work installation of anchor units, to which the track structure will be attached. The fourth EcoFest was held on the 17th of August. We have already reported on its results in our news releases and we will continue to highlight and analyze them. However, today we are going to answer one of the most frequent questions from festival guests. Why they were not able to ride in all types of vehicles? The chief designer of the city transport complex, Viktor Garach, will be our consultant. Не катали пассажиров, поскольку не был получен, не не был сертифицирован транспорт в части перевозки непосредственно пассажиров сами. То есть пассажиры катались исключительно там, где гарантированно, надежно подтверждено государственными бумагами, с печатями, подписями, так я понимаю? Да, все правильно. На испытаниях мы подтверждаем технические характеристики, надежность, безопасность, а сертификация, она является проверкой функции безопасности, то есть обеспечение безопасности непосредственно перевозки, непосредственно обеспечение услуги по перевозке. Экофест для нас не точка отсчета, откуда мы идем и куда мы должны перейти. У нас есть планы, поэтому... В некоторых ситуациях как бы, проведение сертификации оно бы отодвинуло ну, дальнейшие работы по внедрению, по отработке системы узлов. Потому что а отработка системы узлов нам необходима для того, чтобы потом на отработанных сертифицированных серийных узлах строить модуль транспорта для конкретного адресного проекта. Тем самым, как я уже сказал, сокращая время на ввод в эксплуатацию транспортной системы. Ну, я надеюсь, вместе со всеми нашими партнерами, что на следующем Экофесте мы обязательно покатаемся и на Юнилайте, и на Юнивинде, и, может быть, даже на Бивинде. Безусловно. We can already report that prior to Ecofest 2019, commissioning of a self-propelled chassis of the high-speed Unibus was carried out in an expeditious manner during just three days and three nights and the regulatory speed of its movement necessary for the event was achieved. As part of the increase in the motion speed of the high-speed vehicle, work continues on the adaptation of hydro-pneumatic suspension and the adjustment of anti-derailment system. Last week, Ronald Viskill, managing director of the company Unicorn, which is a pioneer in designing, selection of equipment and maintenance of air conditioning systems, visited our company for an expert assessment. Mr. Viskill 
pointed out the competent approach to the design of the microclimate and ventilation system in the tropical Unica U4-431-01, gave expert advice on its optimization, expressed readiness to arrange supply of guaranteed quality components and assist in establishing relations with reliable service companies in the United Arab Emirates. Adjustment of the towing mode of this vehicle in emergency was carried out. The technology of vehicle communication with each other via direct channel is put into action, resulting in making this transport more secure and fault tolerant. Engineers have completed commissioning of onboard control systems for bi-wind vehicle with the use of automatic control, and it is already integrated into Skyway control network. The system of data exchange between the central control room and the vehicle was optimized, increasing the speed of exchange by 20%. Such is our traditional brief report on the progress in the development of Skyway technology over the past week. Follow the updates on the official Skyway website, sign up to Skyway YouTube channel, support our project, and even the ending summer will not upset you. Build Skyway. Save the planet.